By the end of this video, you will be able to make a new pattern in the music software FL Studio. Let's get started. So let's say you would like to create new patterns that you can edit and then insert into your project. In order to add a new pattern to what you already have, the easiest way to do that is just press this plus icon right here, and then you can rename the pattern. So let's say this is drum pattern two, and then just press enter. And so now I've got a drum pattern two here. And what that did when I pressed that plus icon, it's on the left hand side, you can see it says new pattern, find first, next empty. So basically it's a quick uh, shortcut to pressing this button, which is another way to add a pattern. So you can do the first empty, next empty, and so forth. So that's the easiest way to add a pattern. And I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that into here. And so now I have a drum pattern here. And if you, once that's selected, you can then add that pattern anywhere you would like in the project, just by using this plus icon or the paintbrush here. To delete any patterns, you just right click on it in the project. So this drum pattern, I've got another one here. Let's just go ahead and just hit a couple snares here. All right, so now these two patterns are playing on top of one another. I'm gonna go ahead and play that. Good, so you can hear my basic drum pattern and then the snares on top. So these next couple tips are gonna be very helpful uh, for things that you might run into when you're adding new patterns. So one thing I wanna point out is, let's say I add a new pattern and go ahead and just add, name this violin. So let's say you don't add any inf information in here. I found the best way to add a new, another pattern, if you just wanna add, add all your patterns in a row here, uh, the way to do that is I usually just go to the drop down here and then instead of doing the find first empties, I just go ahead and click insert one. And so now I have another pattern here and I can just name this one piano. And so now I can add all of these patterns without having to put any information in there. I find that sometimes if you press these first empties and find next empties, sometimes the workflow gets a little unorganized. One thing to keep in mind as you're adding new patterns is a way of thinking about the organization here. So in the center here where the patterns are listed, when you click on a pattern, it will then take that pattern and I can, if I use the draw button here, I can go ahead and just click that pattern wherever I would like. Now that pattern is happening in any of these spots that I click. And so if I want to do a different pattern, let's say the violin here, or let's say the drum pattern, you can then click that first, then insert it into your track. When you click on the pattern, you can either use the paint or the draw tool. Either of those will work for adding it in your workspace. So let's say you would like to stay organized and color your different patterns uh, in your workflow. What you can do is just uh, right click on the pattern that you would like to change the color for, and then you can click on rename and color. And then this area right here, you can click on that, and then now it'll give you a color wheel, and you can go ahead and just pick a color or uh, change the color right here as well, and then press accept. And then now, uh, when you press the check mark here, or you can press enter, and now that will be the same color, and you can keep those the same for like instruments or different things that you're working on. One last way that you can add new patterns is to go up to the top left, click on patterns, and then it has the same drop downs that we had before, so you can go ahead and click on find next empty. And there are shortcuts there as well that you could use. So when you click on those patterns, you have find first empty, you could do shift plus F4 or just F4 for the find next empty. And then if you wanna go quickly, uh, you can just click this one or control plus F4. And then that one will just add a new pattern without uh, you needing to name it right away. I want to quickly point out if you would like to bring up the piano roll in any pattern, all you need to do is just click on the pattern and then go up to the view icons here and click on this button right here. So now that will bring up the piano roll, which then you can input the different uh, notes that you would like to hear. So you now know how to create new patterns within the music software FL Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other FL Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.